To register on My Class Text, go to www.myclasstext.org. On the bottom left-hand side of the web page, click on the New Users Register Here student. Before you start, you will need an email address that you will check daily, the My Class Text course section ID number, and your student ID number from your college or university. The course section ID number can be found on your syllabus. If you have received the syllabus in an email, or if the syllabus is on a learning management system like Moodle or Canvas, then you can simply go to the course section ID number, highlight it, and copy it using Control C, or right click with your mouse and select Copy. When you click the next button on the lower right hand side of the web page, you will be asked to input the course section ID number. Simply place the cursor in the field and either Control V or right click and paste the course section ID number for your course. Then click the Find Course button and you should now see the name of your course. If the course is not correct, then please contact Dr. Knight by email. Now click the Next button on the lower right hand side of the web page. The next page is the privacy policy which you can read. It essentially says that I will not give any of your private information to any parties. Now click I agree. You will be brought to the page where you will input your registration information. Choose the proper prefix from the drop down menu. When you enter your first and last name, please be sure to use the same name that appears on your official college record. Do not use a nickname. If you were recently married but your college records still have your maiden name, then please use your maiden name if that is the name on file with the College Admissions and Records Office. Next, enter an email address that you will check on a regular basis. I will not use Moodle or Canvas to communicate with the class. I will be specifically using the email address that you have listed here. You should check your email daily as there will be important announcements during the semester. If the name of the school given is correct, then you do not have to do anything to the school name field. If the name of the school is incorrect, then please select the correct college name or university from the drop-down menu. If your school name does not appear in the drop-down menu, then please fill in the field entitled Other School Name. Be sure to input your school student ID number into the field immediately above the login name and password. Next, enter a login name and a password of more than eight characters. Confirm the password and write this information down in a safe place that you will be able to find in case you forget this information. Finally, select a security question and answer and now click the next button. The next page is the confirmation and summary page. By clicking on the here link or by clicking on the login link, found in the lower right hand side of the page, you will be brought to the login screen. Enter your login name and password. You will next see the course section page with your course listed under the My Course heading. Click on the course name to be brought to the course homepage. The course homepage is also the announcements page. To get started on the assignments for the course, click on the All My Assignments link on the left hand navigation bar. This will bring you to the Course Units page. The Course Units page lists all the units for the course along with the topics found in each of the units. By clicking on Unit 1 you will see a list of the chapters in Unit 1. Each chapter has a chapter number and a chapter name. Click on Chapter 1, the Orientation Chapter. Click on the Orientation Homework link to bring you to the Homework Overview for the Orientation Homework. When you're ready to begin the homework, click on the Start button on the lower right hand side of the page. You will now see a list of the questions in this orientation assignment. Each question has both a number and a name. Each name is unique to that specific question. You can use this fact to keep a record of your work on different questions in the homework throughout the semester. These same questions may appear on quizzes and tests. If you've done a question with a specific name in a homework assignment and then see that same name on either a quiz or a test, then you can be assured that that is in fact the exact same question. 
If you've kept your work in a well-organized workbook, then you'll not have to redo the question since you have already answered this question in your workbook. Go through the different problems in the orientation homework. You may redo the homework as many times as necessary to get 100%. Good luck in this course. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to email me.